Those of you who are mocking and teaching against the rapture, I just want to say thank you because you are fulfilling scripture. That's what scripture said would happen. And so the more we get closer to it, the more the mocking has been increasing. And honestly, if for some strange reason we are wrong, I for one will be running to the front of the lines to the guillotines. There is no prepping that I've done in the last 10, 15 years, which I have done a whole lot of prepping, thinking that we would be here through the tribulation. I'm prepared for that. But honestly, you guys don't understand. Crops won't grow. You can't hide. You'll be beheaded. So if there is no blessed hope, trust me, I will beat you to the front of the line and give other people encouragement to go ahead and have your head chopped off because all they want is Jesus. All they want to do is go home and be with him. So why would you mock the rapture or think that people are going to lose their faith? If our eyes are set on Jesus and the the crown of righteousness that he's promised to those who love his appearing, why do you think we would lose faith? He's either coming soon and very soon, or we will happily give up our lives, everything we have stored and prepped up for others. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. So maybe stop mocking the rapture and look at all the scriptures. Look at the hidden scriptures like Revelation 4.1. John represents us. We go up. He says, come up here. He's showing you for those that want to see, it's right there, hidden in plain sight. And for those who don't want to see the secrets of God, they'll glaze right over it. The fact is John represents us. That's why there's no parables in his writings because he represents us. We go up, come up here, and then, then the craziness is unleashed on the earth of those who did not love and accept the Lord. And the saints, that the tribulation saints, they still get another chance, but they're not saved by grace. They will have to lay down their lives. That's the difference. We live in the age of grace right now. The tribulation saints are not the same as the church. And so mixing everything into the same bowl, not rightly dividing the word, is what causes confusion. Be blessed.